Turning to our forecast after another hot day in the valley. Meteorologist Lindsay Riley is joining us and Lindsay, I know we're headed for a cool down, uh, but you're going to talk about why this time of year is typically our windy season. Yes, this is our windy season. It, I kind of feel like a broken record because every day this week we are going to be talking about the wind, kind of a nuisance. It blows around the pollen, so the pollen report, especially high this year. All wind is is the difference in air pressure. Wind typically travels from high to low pressure and this time of year the jet stream moves further to the north and typically areas of high pressure and areas of low pressure are a little bit stronger. So the pressure gradient is a little bit closer together and then you get stronger winds. This week here's the pattern. We do have a strong area of low pressure off of the California coast. Southwesterly winds moving into Arizona. We're talking about a dry, windy week of weather. Daily wind gusts in the valley between 20 to 25 miles per hour each day through Friday and up in the mountains, 35 to 50 mile per hour gusts. On top of that, relative humidities will be at about 10 to 15 percent and that will keep our fire risk very high with little to no rain in our forecast. Typically, April is the windiest month here in Arizona. May about half as windy as April on average, even though this is going to be a very windy week. We typically have our strongest readings, though, during the monsoon within thunderstorms. Strongest wind speed ever recorded, 86 miles per hour back in 1976. And here's a list of some of the windiest spots up in northern Arizona. And typically uh, we will see down winds go down on the mountain and uh, speed up as it goes down the mountain along the plateau and Doney Park, the Little Colorado River. Valley as well as Black Mesa and Chinle Valley. So those are some of the windier spots across our state.